Hey all, DevShell2 here. Um, I I was diagnosed uh, with HIV two years ago. Um, not by a doctor, not in a hospital, not even in a clinic. I was diagnosed in uh, by Planned Parenthood. Um, an organization that ever since I have fully supported um, and I just today had received some uh, well a, a notice um, received a notice by actually they knocked on my door um, I had been behind on, on some utilities and one of them came to the door today to shut me off. Um, after talking to him, the guy at the door for a little while, he said he would give me until tomorrow to figure something out. I went to social services to, to ask for help. Um, I've been out of work for a couple of years now um, and my unemployment has run out. And I have not been receiving any assistance from the government outside of medical. Um, I haven't been receiving cash assistance. I haven't been receiving food stamps. I haven't been receiving ex uh, assistance with my utilities, with with nothing. And so I, I went to the social services office, and they told me um, that there's not a whole lot that they could do, um, at least not today. And they asked me to wait until four o'clock this afternoon uh, when their waiting room was empty and, and maybe, you know, if I were to come back then, they, they might have time to see me. I mean, this was even just to speak to me. And I agreed. And uh, I left the office and having couple of hours to kill until four o'clock, I figured I would stop at the Planned Parenthood office um, that had diagnosed me two years ago. And the girl that took my blood, the girl that helped me with uh, paperwork, and the girl that held my hand when I broke down after my diagnosis was there. And we were talking and joking, and she asked me what I was doing in town uh, because I live so far away from the county seat, which is where I had to go for the social services office. So I told her. She said, "Let's go outside for a cigarette." So I said, "Okay." I, I said, "Okay," and I went with her. We went outside. She was in a uh, she's in a wheelchair, um, one of the electric ones. She's a scooter, you know, in a scooter. And we went outside, and she pulled out her wallet, and she showed me a piece of paper, a post-it, two of them actually. I had written. Um, two little notes to her on post-its two years ago and she saved them one of them said it was a quote from Thunderfoot um, of all people but it was it was the quote that gave me strength um, one of the reasons I started making videos on, on YouTube and the quote was from one of his um, Why Do People Laugh at Creationist videos. And the quote was, The light that you are a spark of light in the universe. And our time here is finite. Live life now. Savor. And I wrote that on a post-it and I gave it to her. And, uh, she was having a bad day. She was actually crying because one of the um, patients in Planned Parenthood was just very, very rude to her. 
and, and really hurt her feelings, and, and she was crying. And uh, I felt bad, so I, I wrote on, on the post-it, you know, when things get hard, take a deep breath and remember why you do this. I was surprised two years later for her to pull them out of her wallet to show me. And she said that anytime it gets hard, she looks at those and it helps her. She then picked up her phone and she called She paid the bill that I was behind on that they were going to shut off. Not out of a government fund, but out of her pocket. This is a terrible video and I'm sorry and it's rambly. We talked about the HIV charity. And I showed her the, uh, the promo video for it. the most recent promotional video for the one with the Queen song. And she told me that the show must go on. she's right the show must go on regardless of trolls Leanna thank you thank you for holding me when I was diagnosed. Thank you for what you do for everyone that walks into that Planned Parenthood office. Thank you for being you. And thank you for helping restore my faith in humanity. I could never repay you, Leanna. But I can host a fundraiser. And I will. Regardless of the obstacles, regardless of the threats, regardless of the trolling and the harassment, I can and I will host this event. No one will intimidate me. Because when times get hard, sometimes you just have to take a deep breath and remember why we do this. Thank you.